This paper presents a preliminary study focused on the factors that influence the willingness to use a robotic arm and the development by students in health sciences. The intended functionality of the device includes the simulation of shoulder movement, including those limitations of movement and ailments caused by different injuries, a feedback system to the student from the point of view of movement restrictions and visual and sound feedback of the pain experienced by the patient, the possibility of parameterizing the degree of the different injuries considered, and beyond diagnosis, the possibility of incorporating training methods to correctly carry out rehabilitation activities. The growing potential of using robots in teaching and learning health processes resides in the capability to parameterize results, autonomously guide learners to achieve greater engagement, and to enable collective learning, including patients and instructors, in the loop. The proposed robotic tool represents an advance not only as a tool for university teaching, incorporating additional and complementary resources for learning, but also for carrying out studies that allow the parameterization and transfer to the robotic arm of different symptom ontologies. Recent studies show that although there are six documented aided value benefits of the use of robots as detective tools in health sciences education, further non-robotic focused research needs to be done in order to foster the inclusion in the curricula of health sciences, sciences professionals. That is, if robots in health sciences education are developed without a roboticist mindset, without clearly incorporating user preferences and aspects of the learning process beyond development, they usually remain as proofs of concept. On the one hand, it is necessary to analyze how robotic technology should be developed to make it more flexible and usable to support both teaching and learning processes in health sciences education, as since users are not necessarily well versed in how to use it. On the other, there's still a need to develop effective and standardized robotics enhanced learning evaluation tools and good quality studies describing effective evaluation of the interface. For the previous reasons, this paper presents a preliminary study focused on the factors that influence the willingness to use the robotic arm under development by students in the health sciences. Getting a deeper knowledge of such factors can help overcoming the main drawbacks that hinder the incorporation of such devices into the health sciences curricula. This understanding is extremely important from a user-centered design perspective, as it will determine the efforts needed to adapt the robotic interface as to provide a good user experience. In this study, we have made use of the unified theory of acceptance and use of technology. As such, we have modeled the intention to use as determined by four variables, the performance expectancy, the effort expectancy, the social influence, and enabled conditions. In addition, we have included the variable trust, as this variable becomes essential in contents where there is vulnerability and dependence, as may be the case in our particular study. A questionnaire was carried out using the Google Forms platform and participants were health science students from the University of Salamanca. An online questionnaire was chosen so to avoid any bias that might arise from the intervention of the researchers. The questionnaire was divided into two parts, the first with questions relating to socio-demographic variables, and the second part with questions relating to the concepts under study. The scales used were seven-point Likert type scale. To verify that the concepts proposed in the model are correctly measured and that they re reflect the theoretically proposed concept, an exploratory principal components factor analysis was carried out. All constructs were found unidimensional, and moreover, they had a real reliability above the threshold of 0.7 established in the literature. In addition, the extracted variance was higher than the 50%. 